in fact, when I went home that evening, I thought it was morning and not evening. Uh, and I believe it's when my son saw all this that he forced me to go to Nairobi Hospital to be to be tested, not for COVID, for something else. What am I suffering from? But lo and behold, it was COVID. I believe this considerable delay in being tested or knowing my status contributed to the seriousness of my case, which doctors said was a touch and go affair. I therefore take this opportunity to appeal to my fellow Kenyans to get tested immediately you notice symptoms associated with COVID-19. Your chances of survival and successfully beating COVID-19 are much higher in early detection. If you delay, it becomes very dangerous as not only the lungs, but other organs are greatly and adversely affected. And for me, uh, my kidneys were temporarily affected, but now they are operating 100% thanks to the good doctors at the hospital. For the first time, I was transported in an ambulance. And uh, I was almost forced into it because I thought I could ride more comfortably in my car. But the doctor said it must be, you must go into the ambulance. And there were six, about six people in that ambulance. And one of them was holding a, a, a gas cylinder because I, was, I had immediately been put on oxygen support. Uh, I think they must have felt that I was taking this thing a bit easy. You know, sometimes I'm quite jocular, so somebody may mistake me to think that I'm taking it lightly. Uh, and I was told, this is a touch and go case. If this thing comes out of your nose, wherever, whatever, within five minutes or so, you are dead. So don't. <laughs> I was warned by the good doctors from the Ministry of Health. In that journey in the ambulance, that's when now my thoughts began racing. 